Hey, look at you, right on time. I love it. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it is Tuesday, November 22nd. Now, every day at this time, I like to talk to you about OTC and penny stocks, hot OTC and penny stocks. I'm a day trader. I am out there all day long. I see a lot of things happening, and at the end of the day, I like to share some of that with you. Now, I trade both OTC and penny stocks. They're not the same. The OTC has a bunch of penny stocks because a penny stock is any stock under five bucks. Well, there's a bunch of those on the major exchanges too. So don't be surprised if we be looking at some major exchange penny stocks. Now, most of the stocks we look at are on the OTC market. We love those startup companies. We like those little itty bitty prices that only have to move that much to make us good profits. Matter of fact, all that news right there comes from the OTC market. Otis is at the top, newest is at the bottom. There's about six days worth in there. No public offerings or financials in there. You can go find that yourselves. That's all the prime news, the events, the mergers, acquisitions, uplistings, the things that get the stock running. So if you haven't had time to comb through the news this last week like I do, go ahead. Use that as a cheat sheet. Now, as I said, I do a lot of research in OTC stocks, and that's what I love about this site, where we're at right now, the otcmarkets.com website. This site was put here specifically for investors to get information on OTC stocks, legitimate, up-to-date information. This site is updated every single day by FINRA and the SEC, and I'll be honest, I do not know of one other site on the entire internet that updates every OTC stock every single day, not by FINRA and the SEC. So if you're running around doing your research on the internet, you're wasting a lot of time. Start here. I guarantee you it'll save you time. And if you can't find what you're looking for, the internet's always out there waiting for you. All right, let's take a look at how our OTC market finished today. I'm going to hope for a bump here. We're going to cross our fingers. Uh, no bump. Not a whole lot of change, matter of fact, it looks like we fell from yesterday. I think we were at 1.6 billion yesterday, we're at 1.4 billion dollars for the entire market. That is really low, folks. Six billion share volume, that's what we were yesterday. We've been trying to get away from the fives, we're not getting away fast. We would love to be at least at 10 billion, but that just seems hard to get these days. And our trades, son of a gun, we are right down to that 250,000 floor again. We've been stuck between 250 and 300. We have broke out a few times, but we just don't seem to be getting anywhere. So there's not a lot of excitement on the OTC market as a whole. Not even sectors are really jumping together. What we got are just individual stocks running here and there. And I've got a few of those to share with you. Thank God. Let me show you what I found. All right, let's rev up our engines, folks. First ticker we're taking a look at is our car. Ticker R-C-A-R. -R. And no, it has nothing to do with automotives. This is Renovacare. They are a biotech medical device company. Now, they had two pieces of information come to light today. They just filed their most recent financial, and there was another piece of information I'm going to share with you. Now, I'm not sure which one had it all excited, but this thing was running hard, almost at 400% gains today. Now, she did fall back. She fell to almost 11 cents, keeping just over 58% gains. She is on the pink tier. She's current. She has a transfer agent verified, which is one of the ticks I tell you to look for. The other one is a verified profile. We would like to see this come. They're always good to see, but especially if you're going to be in a stock for a long hold. So what does our car do? Renova Care is a development stage biotechnology and medical device company focusing on the research and development and commercialization of autogalous cellular therapies. The company does not yet have any commercialized products. However, they are currently developing and testing the Cell Miss system, which is a cell isolation procedure that renders stem cells from the patient's own skin or other tissues. The resulting stem cell suspension is administered topically with our skin gun spray device as a cell therapy onto wounds, including burns, to facilitate healing. And this is what we're talking about exactly. This is their skin gun, and in this needle or whatever you want to call this thing is where you put your stem cells and then they actually spray it on your wounds, on your surgeries, on your burns, and you heal faster and better with it. So they say. So what was the relative volume around this company today? 
Well, she jumped nice. I'm not saying it's huge, but she went from 28,000, which is very little attention, to 240,000. Now, we got a long ways to go before we hit a million, but that's about eight times her normal volume, so she is getting more attention. Share structure. Well, I could not find this because their disclosures are actually 10Ks and 10Qs, and for some reason, they don't like to put it in there. So unrestricted shares tells me they are at 26 million. The float says 26 million. I'm gonna go with 26 million. Not a bad float at all. I'm not saying it's a super low float, but that's not bad, folks, 26 million. Financials, well, this is interesting. They have no money coming in, but it doesn't say shell company. Whether you look at the annual or the quarterly, there just isn't anything coming in. Now, we can get some more information, and I do want to. They just had their recent financial come out, which is what I was telling you. And I do want to go over some of the numbers so you got at least a quick feel for the company. Looking at their total assets, they have dropped from $3.6 million last year to just over $1 million this year. And their liabilities have pretty much reversed the same way. They have increased by about $1.5 million. And when we look at their revenues, they've absolutely got nothing coming in here whatsoever. And was there anything else I could share with you here? They are running at a loss. Okay, this last year they were at 4.3 million net loss. Last year they were at 3.1 million. So things are hard on them financially right now. What about the news? Well, I know we might have some news over here, but it probably isn't what I'm looking for. Uh, litigation release, that was back in May. We got nothing else here. So what is it I wanna share with you? It's this. If you come up here to market activity, scroll on down to corporate actions, click this. Now what we're looking for are tier changes. When a stock moves from, say, pink limited up to pink, that's a tier change. Or it goes from the QB down to the expert, that's a tier change. And we get a list of these every single day before the bell. But you're not gonna see it when you come to this page. No matter where you look, you're not gonna see tier change anywhere. They kind of hit it. What you gotta do is come over here to symbol changes. Hit that little arrow right there, and you're gonna get another menu, and you still can't see it. It's down at the bottom, so scroll down and hit tier changes. Now, this is a list of every single stock that changed tiers today, and it was a huge list today, really big. I think we got three pages here. Now, RCAR did move tiers. They moved yesterday. There it is. RCAR on the 21st of November moved from pink limited to pink current, which is great news. Now, you wouldn't think it'd be worth a 400% jump, but I don't think those financials were worth it either, so I've got to believe it is this. But keep in mind, pink limited is the danger zone. It's like a crab in the pot and the water's getting warmer. You gotta get out of there quick. Pink Limited is reserved for companies that are late on filings. And if they don't get their filings caught up in a short amount of time, they can be pulled off the OTC market, put into timeout the expert market, and they'll stay down there until they get their filings caught up. And if you're invested, you can't buy their shares and you can't sell the shares for the most part. You're just kind of hanging in limbo. Once they come back on the market, everything's great. So what this is, is the danger zone and they're out of the danger zone. And obviously, as far as I'm concerned, this is what got everybody excited today. Not those financials. Let's go take a look at that chart and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you've probably already guessed, we're going to be doing our charting on Think or Swim. This is a trading platform that TD Ameritrade gives you absolutely free just for signing up for their free trading account. And all you got to do is keep your account open and you can use this anytime you like. Absolutely free. That's right. So this is ticker RCAR six month four hour chart. We got a high bubble six months ago of 30 and a half cents and three days ago we hit a low bubble of a penny. And she's been sitting down here on the floor for a very long time. Now that was an incredible drop right there. But what's even more incredible is that right there folks. Look at our high today. We are right back to our six month high. That was an incredible surge. All this volume has just recently been coming into the picture. Now she did have a huge jump, but she did fall. She gave back a lot of it today. And right now she is sitting on her 200 day SMA on the four hour chart. That is a good solid platform. Our technicals, they are all going to the moon. 
all of them, our PPO and our MACD have already had their crossovers and are pushing up. Our RSI is in the overbought and on fire. We are at 84.85 right there. And even my ADX, this shows me trend continuation. Now this isn't about what direction this red line is pointing, just that it hasn't changed direction. So I see I have an uptrend here and this line has not changed direction yet. That means the uptrend is continuing. So everything here looks dynamite. <laughs> 20 day, one hour view. All right, remember she was doing absolutely nothing for the longest time, many months. Then we took a dip here, and I'm not real sure why, but it definitely instigated a recovery. We hit this low bubble, she started to push up, and then it didn't hurt having her come off the pink limited yesterday. That gave her a nice bounce, and then today she surged and pulled back and is now sitting on her nine day SMA on the one hour chart. Technicals are still very strong, but they do show decisiveness right now looking at our five day five minute chart so yesterday when she came off of the pink limited she had a nice bounce and then came down real hard hitting on the 50 day SMA then she climbed back up and it looks to be about 50% of what she threw on the table this morning she actually dipped at the bell and then took off from six cents up to is that six cents yeah, six cents up to 30 cents. Well, that's actually 500% gains. Whoa, what a run it was. And she stayed up there not too long. She came down here to 25 cents five minutes later, hung around that area, and then took off. So if you got out here, you made some good gains, even if you got in today. Now, how would you really know to get out here? Well, you had one drop, two drops. I look for two confirmation bars at least before I make a decision. But come down to your technicals. I'm gonna take a timeline here and I'm gonna draw that right there. That's when we got our first down. Look at our ADX. A change of direction, even a change of direction on our PPO. They both started coming down. As soon as these would have changed, that was your signal to get out. Now obviously you can see we would have been ahead of that. There was a huge drop just five, 10 minutes later, all the way down here to 14 cents. That was a 50% drop. Up here, that would have been a 15% drop if you had got out here. Now she has fallen back to her 50, which is where she hit here, and she's sitting there right now. Now, and the technicals really don't look like she wants to continue to grow. Now, I don't expect her to continue to grow. The financials had nothing really impressive in them. I don't see that being a catalyst. And she's already been off of the pink limited for two days. How much run can you get for that? I normally don't see much more than that. So what we get out of this is a lesson. Every single morning that corporate actions tier change page comes up before the bell. You can get a list of stocks that have come out of the danger zone off the expert market. Those are good ones off of the pink limited. Make a list over here on your charts and watch them. Anything that starts to get volume and take off, you're already there ready to get in. Take advantage of it. So no, I don't expect our car to continue moving, but I do expect the lesson to stick with you. Hold on, hold on, don't be getting your panties all in a bunch. I know that price is $10, but this is where I start my tale. So let me tell my story. This is ticker CIIG, CIIG Capital Partners. Now this is on the major exchange, it is on the NASDAQ. It is a blank check company, a SPAC, Special Purpose Acquisition Company. Now what they're all about is they come onto the major exchanges with nothing but a ticker, that's it. No business, they're not making any money, they are literally a shell company. Now you can think of it as a big warehouse being built, a shell of a warehouse with nothing in it. This company doesn't want the warehouse. They built it to sell it or to lease it. They want to make money off of it. So they're looking for an acquisition or a merger. And that was the news that came out today. Zap a high-performance two-wheeled electric vehicle company to become publicly traded via a business combination, a merger, with CIIG. Now here's the thing. SPACs, when you buy into them, they're $10 a share. And the price stays at $10 until they actually close a deal. Now this deal is not closed yet. So all the excitement cannot be shown here because nobody's gonna really bid on the price because they're only worth $10 until the deal is closed. But 
You can find activity. You can find price action if you go over to their warrant. This company's warrant is CIIGW. Normally, all you got to do is put a W on the end of a major exchange ticker or a WS, and that is their warrant ticker. They finished the day at eight cents with 300% gains. So the stock couldn't get any of that attention, but it all comes over to the warrant. So whenever you see one of these SPACs making a deal, don't think, oh, it's a $10 company no need for me to look at it uh -uh. check out the warrant the warrant will show all sorts of excitement because what a warrant is it is a stock you can trade in and out no big deal but you can hang on to that warrant and in the future two to five years what they do is they let you cash it in they may say that you can buy a share of this new company which right now is ten dollars they say you can buy it at thirteen dollars anytime in the next five years well, the stock may go up to 50 bucks and you can trade in one of your warrants plus $13 and you can buy a share of stock and turn around and sell it for 50 bucks and get all that profit right now. That's why people like warrants and they really like them when they know something is about ready to get big because they're gonna be worth more money. So that's what had this thing running today. Now let's take a look at some key factors about this company just so you have a little bit of insight. The unique charging solution has an ultra lightweight portable battery pack that can be charged via any standard 220 or 110 wall socket. You can plug it in through the window right underneath in any standard socket. That makes it easy. Strategic manufacturing partnership with Summit Group already in place and at start of production. So it looks like they're ready to go right now. Estimated post-transaction enterprise value $573 million with up to $274 million in net cash to fund growth. So they've got money, they've got enterprise value, we're just waiting for it to close. And I would expect the warrant to run again when it closes. So remember folks, whenever you see a SPAC or a blank check company make a deal, don't write it off because it's not a penny stock. Their warrant is a penny stock and it's the only one that can show any price activity. So let's go take a look at this chart and see if it got any higher than 300% today. So let's take a look at our warrant. This is sticker CIIGW. That is a six month, four hour chart. Not a whole heck of a lot of trading going on, not a lot of volume. That's standard procedure for warrants. But when they do get it, boy, did they break out. They go to the moon. Now this one has been falling for the six months. We had a breakout over the 50 here. She had a high of almost 48 cents and Friday she had a low of a penny. Now what I want you to pay attention to here, folks, look at the price bars. The ones under the 50, not touching the 50. You see how small all of these are? Now look at the ones that are above or touching the 50-day SMA. You see how big they are? How much bigger? Well, these are exactly what I'm expecting to happen when this gets above the 50. Not if. I am absolutely positive this is going to go over to 50 because this deal just hit the table today and they're just starting. And the stock can't show any of the excitement. Only the warrant can. So yeah, I'm thinking this is going to go over that 50. We're going to see some big price bars and this bad boy is going to jump to 20, 30 and 40 cents. Now our 200 day SMA is up here at 44 cents right now. That's a target for the price to actually shoot for. Not to mention the high of 48 over here. Our technicals, they are showing some strength. Our PPO has got a crossover it's working on, pointing up. Already had the crossover on the MACD and it's working its way up to the signal line. Uh, RSI is weak. It's down at 47 right now. And you can see she was falling, 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 and now she's been on an uptrend for one day, but the line changed, and it has not changed direction since. So everything looks like it's ready to continue growing. Looking at our 20-day, one-hour view. So there's our low bubble on Friday, about a penny, and there's our high at noon today of 11 cents. If you had gotten in back here, lucky, you would have had over a 1,000% run. As it is, she opened up at a nickel, so you would have had a, about 100% if you got out up here. But if you hung on, right now you're hanging on to about 60, 65% gains. All of our technicals really don't show any enthusiasm right now. They all look like they're on hold, kind of making a decision. Our five day, five minute. 
So we had some pre-market activity that lifted her off of the floor all the way up to that nickel. She had a nice steady climb sitting above that nine day SMA, hit it at noon and then has fallen back down to that eight cent mark sitting right on top of her 20 day SMA. And there's no other SMAs here, so that just makes sense. Now when I look at the technicals, the technicals say she is still falling, sure does. Now I can see she's sitting on this support. You see all this consolidation right there. She's sitting on that right now. She could fall down to seven cents, down to six cents. That is all possible. And honestly, I think she might. She might come down to one of these levels and that's where I'm gonna look at it. I love SPACs, I love blank check companies. When they come out with this sort of news and the stock itself can't move, the warrants, which are super duper cheap, get these huge runs. So take that in mind, folks. Anytime you see a SPAC putting out news about a deal they're gonna make, don't write it off because it's not a penny stock. Remember the warrant. The warrants can run hard and fast. And if you're planning on staying in the company for a while, you may wanna keep some of those warrants. Those warrants are gonna be able to be traded in for cheaper stock down the road, right? So CIIGW, running on news. I think more news is gonna come. I think she's gonna run. Look for a dip. This would probably be a good place to get in before she gets over that 50 day SMA and starts to run fast. So here's another company that was getting some good strong price action on the charts today because they had big news. This is ticker NUVG Nuvis Growcore. Now you probably remember that this company did a reverse merger not too long ago with Pro Music Rights. They are the fifth public performance rights organization ever formed in the United States. Their licensees include notable companies like TikTok, iHeartMedia, Triller, Napster, Seven Digital, Vivo, and hundreds of others. Pro Music Rights controls an estimated market share of 7.4% in the United States, representing over 2.5 million works that feature notable artists. And they've got a nice list down here of some of those artists. Now they did have news come out today, and it was important news, but there was a hidden bonus that came along with this news. The company mentioned something months ago. They said if this, what happened today, occurred, they were going to consider that. And I'm going to share that with you because I think that may have a lot to do with why it's running. And if it's not, you still need to know about this. So NUVG finished today at four cents with almost 79% gains. They're on the pink tier, they're current. They have both those green ticks I'm always telling you to look for. And they've got independent directors. Now you gotta have independent directors if you're gonna uplist. And I don't know a whole lot of other reasons you need independent directors. So maybe they've got plans of uplisting. You don't need them unless you're going to. So what was the relative volume around NUVG today? Oh, not big, but big. We started off at 7,000, went to 521,000. Now still, that's a low number, I agree, but that is a huge jump from 7,000 to 521,000. Share structure for this company. Well, we do have a little float here, folks. It is 13 million. Look this one up. We can trust it again. I'm kind of liking seeing the same number in the unrestricted and the float because that's what I always consider the two really are the same. So we got 13 million in the float. It is a low float. Financials for the company. Well, this is where it gets a little bit interesting because I know the company's making money. They went up in assets over a hundred million in the second quarter of this year, but we don't have any financials. They're not showing us any money here. And I mean, literally, as you can see, looking here, there is nothing but threes over here. This is the period. So these are all from March. Where is six? Where is nine? Well, there's a six right there, but that is an attorney letter. That's not actually a filing for financials. So to me, it looks like they're missing some filings here for June and September, but we do not see Pink Limited up here. So I'm a little worried about that. They are a shell risk. I didn't mention that. They're supposed to be in business making money, but they're not reporting it. And that's what I was saying. I can't find any of that information, but it seems to me they're making money. All right, let's go take a look at that news because that's where it's all at. Let's take a look at the news that came out yesterday. I thought it was today, it was yesterday. Nuvis Growcore announces name and symbol change. 
to Music Licensing with the ticker S-O-N-G. And they've been working on a name change and a ticker change for a long time. But it's this other news which is more exciting. This came out August 25th. Pro Music Rights, one of the world's largest music licensing companies, announces that it will explore a forward stock split after Fiener processes the name and symbol change request. Ta-da! That's been done. And they're talking about a forward split where they give us free shares, not a reverse split where they take them. This is a good thing. Now, I did read over on Twitter, and I've not been able to verify this anywhere else, but the they are quoting the company as saying, after the forward split, there will be anywhere between 400 million shares and 11.9 billion shares in the float. Well, that equates out to 30 shares for every one share you have, or 900 shares for every one share you have. That's right, if you have 10 shares, they're gonna give you 9,000 shares free for the 10 shares you own. How do you like them apples? <laughs> So that is what I think the big deal is here. All those free shares that can possibly be coming. They haven't said anything more about it. I had to jump back here to actually find this. I don't know if anybody else has put this together, but I think it's something worth watching. Let's go check out that chart. Six month, four hour chart, NUVG. She was doing absolutely nothing until they announced they were going to do a merger with Pro Music Rights, and it was a 2,400% jump here from two cents up to 48 cents. She came all the way back down and she has hit a low here of under a penny from 47 cents to 0065. Today, she broke all of her SMAs, coming out from underneath the nine to actually getting on top of the 200, but she has pulled back. But look at all that volume that came in today. And our technicals are showing signs of strength. Our RSI is pushing up, as is the MACD and the PPO. We're just looking for that crossover. And she was falling, and now is starting to climb up, and we have a new direction on our ADX. 20-day, one-hour view. Well, we've had some nice bounces in here, but really she's just going sideways, isn't she? And it was getting narrower and narrower. You can see how she was getting lower highs and higher lows and got real pinched right here and then took off the last two days, hitting a high of 006 and tapping the 200 day SMA on the one hour chart. Technicals are much stronger on the one hour. We got an imminent crossover on our PPO, just had one on the MACD and it's crossing the signal line right now. We are at 55 on our our RSI. Let's look at our five day, five minute. So we had a little bit of a climb yesterday, just a bit, and then today she started running. Had some consolidation all day after she bumped, and then at the very end of the day, she hit a new high of six cents, pulling back to four cents. Technicals look like they do want to continue growing, but they do show signs of that pullback. Now, I'm not sure if she's going to continue growing for a name change and a ticker change. I don't think that's all that exciting, at least not price-wise. But those free shares, oh my God. Give me 30 shares for every share I have, or give me 900 shares for every share I have. I'll hold it for a while. And this company, Pro Music Rights, now Music Licensing Inc., they've got seven... 0.4% of the market in the United States. They get paid when you play any of their artists' music, and they sue people who play the music and don't pay. So they always get paid. This isn't a bad company to consider. And now that they got a forward split that they may be doing, keep up with the news. You're not going to want to miss that. I think this is a company to keep your eye on. I love free shares. So there's three stocks and a few lessons to boot. You had RCAR, that is a company that just bumped from Pink Limited up to Pink and they had a huge run today. That does happen very often. So watch that corporate action page for tier changes. Then you've got the other one, which is a warrant, CIIGW. Warrants run when the company has news. And when the company stock can't move, like in a blank check or a SPAC, the warrant's gonna be all that moves. And right now it's gonna be getting all the attention. Keep your eye on that. And any SPAC that has news come out about a deal. The stock itself can't move, but the warrants can. And then NUVG, oh boy, free shares. I hope they start talking about this. I hope they haven't forgotten about it. Now you know what I know. 
Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. <laughs> See you, folks.